Unit conversions are one of the most essential skills in physics. Whether you're solving kinematics, force, or energy problems, you will need to be proficient in converting units. In this video, I will break down how to convert units and work through 10 practice problems. In physics, we often switch between metric prefixes, time, distance, mass, and energy units. For example, many common conversions are meters to kilometers, seconds to hours, grams to kilograms, and joules to calories. When writing unit conversions, it's important to know how to write your equations. Unit factors are normally written as fractions equal to 1. For example, 100 meters over 1 kilometer, or 1 hour over 3600 seconds. The main idea in converting units is to multiply by a fraction that cancels out the units that you were given and leaves you with the units that you want. Convert 2.5 kilometers to meters. We know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So to write our conversion factor, we start with the units that we were given, 2.5 kilometers, then multiply by a fraction that will cancel out our units. In this example, we will put the meters on top and the kilometers on the bottom. Now solving this equation, we get that 2.5 kilometers is equal to 2,500 meters. Convert 1,200 meters to kilometers. We know that there are 1,000 meters per one kilometer. So to convert units, we start with what we were given, which was 1,200 meters, and multiply by a fraction that will cancel out our units. For this, we will put meters on top and kilometers on the bottom. Solving this, we get that 1,200 meters is equal to 1.2 kilometers. Convert 90 minutes to seconds. We know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So to convert our units, we start with the units that we were given of 90 minutes and multiply by a fraction that cancels out the units that we were given. To do this, we will put seconds on top and minutes on the bottom. Solving this, we get that 90 minutes is equal to 5,000 400 seconds. Convert 5.2 hours to seconds. We know that one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. To convert our units, we start with the units that we were given of 5.2 hours and multiply by a fraction that cancels out our units. To do this, we will put seconds on top and hours on the bottom. Solving this, we get that 5.2 hours is equal to 18,720 seconds. Convert 0 0.0035 kilograms to grams. We know that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So to convert our units, we start with what we were given, which was 0 0.0035 kilograms, and multiply by a fraction that cancels out our units. To do this, we will put grams on top and kilograms on the bottom. Solving this, we get that 0 0.0035 kilograms is equal to 3.5 grams. Convert 500 centimeters to meters. We know that there is 100 centimeters in one meter. So to convert our units, we start with the units that we were given of 500 centimeters and multiply by a fraction that cancels out our units. To do this, we will put meters on top and centimeters on the bottom. Solving this equation, we get that 500 centimeters is equal to 5 meters. Convert 6,000 joules to kilojoules. We know that there are 1,000 joules to 1 kilojoule. So to convert our units, we start with the units that we were given 
of 6,000 joules and multiply by a fraction that cancels out our units. To do this, we will put kilojoules on top and joules on the bottom. Solving this equation, we get that 6,000 joules is equal to 6 kilojoules. Convert 72 kilometers an hour to meters per second. We know that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. And that one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. So to convert our units, we want to start with what we were given, which was 72 kilometers per hour, and multiply by a fraction that cancels out our units. We'll start by canceling out the kilometers by putting meters on top and kilometers on the bottom. Then we will cancel out the hours by multiplying by another fraction that relates hours to seconds. Here we will put hours on top as they are at the bottom of our initial units and then seconds on the bottom. Solving this equation, we get that the kilometers canceled out and the hours cancel out as well, leaving us with meters and seconds. This gives us that 72 kilometers an hour is equal to 20 meters per second. Convert 45 meters per second to kilometers an hour. We know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. We also know that there are 3,600 seconds per hour. So to convert our units, we start with what we were given, which was 45 meters per second. Then we will multiply by a fraction that will cancel out our units. First, we will start by canceling the meters by putting kilometers on top and meters on the bottom. Then we will multiply by another fraction relating seconds to hours. Here we will cancel out the seconds by putting them on top and hours on the bottom. Solving this equation, we get that the meters cancel out and leave us with kilometers, and the seconds cancel and leave us with hours. And this tells us that 45 meters per second is equal to 162 kilometers per hour. Convert 1.5 days to seconds. We know that one day is equal to 24 hours. And we know that one hour is equal to 3600 seconds. So to convert our units, we start with what we were given, which was 1.5 days, then multiply by a fraction that cancels out our units. First, we will convert days to hours by multiplying by hours and putting days on the bottom. Then we convert hours to seconds by multiplying by another fraction that leaves us with seconds. In order to get left with seconds, we will put seconds on top and hours on the bottom. Solving this equation, we get that the days cancel and leave us with hours, and then the hours cancel and leave us with seconds. This tells us that 1.5 days is equal to 129,600 seconds. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what topics you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.